Vanguardian TV. <clears throat> tough football game. Real tough football game against Cleveland early in that game. It was almost like a divisional game. Kind of had that feel. Cleveland, uh, look, Coach Jim Schwartz, the defensive coordinator for Cleveland, does a great job. Remember, he had the number one defense last year. Uh, but he does a great job. And you saw his historical record. They brought it up on the screen if he was paying attention. I think it was like 18 against rookies, uh, 18 victories, 18-6 to six record, something like that. Um, it, it was a tough football game. It was 0-0. Uh, we was able to make some plays. Uh, Jaden Daniels did throw that interception. He threw a beautiful ball down preceding that. He threw a beautiful ball to uh, Terry McLaurin as he scrambled right, kept his head up, looking downfield. He threw it. I had a good feeling when he released it. Uh, Terry was got under it, just got shoelaced, um, just a couple yards from reaching the goal line, but it was a phenomenal Phenomenal pass and catch by both of them, Terry McLaurin and Jaden Daniels, who continue to make plays in this game. <clears throat> Look, he, he, you know, despite that interception, he didn't cap it all. We didn't finish that, that, that in for a touchdown. And also, Terry had a, uh, a catch, well, he had a run, a sweep, a jet sweep sort of kind of run in the uh, second half. I'm kind of jumping over the place because I'm just excited about this game where he kind of fumbled the ball, got ball got punched out. Uh, I was like cussing. I was mad. I was like, I'm in killer mode like Jaden. I want to kill. I want to take revenge on the league because we've been a laughing stock. So, you know, since we're going to laugh. So my whole thing is it ain't fun when the rabbit has the gun. And... What we're doing now, we're striking fear in some of these teams. Hard, you gotta fear us. I mean, you got you gotta fear us right now because Jaden Daniels is a is a multi-talented, multi-faceted athlete. On top of that, he has multi-talented skill sets, and he does it with ease. He had a cool. Oh, by the way, walk in the park, 80 yards rushing or more today. And some back-breaking runs. Uh, one for about 40, another one for like 28 or 30 yards or so. Um, the throw to De'Ami Brown was just a beautiful ball and catch. Uh, to go up, uh, I think we went up like what, 20, was we went up 31? Or 20, yeah, 31. Um, 31, I think we was up by 30, 31. We went up 31. Uh, to three at that moment or the six but we are a phenomenal football team right now we're hitting we're, we're, we're clicking man we're clicking on all cylinders uh, <clears throat> the national media has bought in uh, next week game is big in Baltimore I don't believe it was able to get flex I believe CBS, CBS wants to hold on to this game and for good reason Two dynamic quarterbacks, uh, two teams that are hot. Baltimore has won three in a row. Washington has won four in a row, and it's Battle of the Parkway series. So uh, it's going to be a fun, fun game. Um, King Henry, um, phenomenal today. Lamar, I mean, what can you say? Lamar, that ridiculous pass when he's rolling right. I mean. The athletic skill set that both these quarterbacks are going to have on display this Sunday coming up, it's going to be, you know, it's a, it's like a, it's a dream come true, I mean, to see this, but uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that the Commanders are winning. I think the league loves that. Um, we missed that in Washington. God, we took it on the chin for 25 years, man. And to finally be in a position to, 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 Enjoy this feeling uh, for the for the last five weeks. It's been it's been great. It's been great, and, and it reminds you of what you know what it was, and so you can kind of get emotional too. But it's still great, and you want to keep it going. And so the team looks good. The offensive line looks good. Um, 
an adversity game for Jan- uh, Jaden Daniels today, but like he's always been cool, calm, and collected under pressure. He, uh, I think he talked about on um, um, Mike uh, Forleo. Uh, he had an interview where he said that uh, he kind of yelled at Clint, uh, Cliff Kingsbury or kind of suggested, look, man, let's take a shot deep because we've got a one-on-one coverage. And Cliff dialed it up. And so when you in sync like that, you ride that wave, you ride that wave, you ride that energy. Um, Jaden Daniels is a rookie, but obviously he is a seasoned, seasoned rookie uh, with his skill set coming in. And we all kind of knew, um, but we just didn't know how it would translate would it be that adjustment? And it was an adjustment. Let's, let's not be let's be real. I mean, Tampa Bay kind of had that, you know, they kind of, it was a tough it was a tough game. But uh, was able to do some things to show some promise. And, and, and now it's translating. He's learning every week. He's getting better every week. He's getting better. These quarterbacks, these rookie quarterbacks, Bo Nix, Jaden Daniels. Of course, Jaden Daniels has been talked about. Because he deserved it because of his play. And uh, Caleb Williams, they're getting better every week. And that's a testament to them. It's a testament to their team, the organization, and the patience. The patience, you know what I mean? Because it's so easy for these young men to listen to the noise and, and, and blah, 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 blah. But that shows their dedication. And you want to talk about who loves football, who don't love football. All three of these young men love football, obviously, because they're showing it right now. <clears throat> Look at C.J. Uh, Stroud, 4-1 down in Houston, just showing poise. I mean, these people are seasoned, man. These quarterbacks, believe me, the NFL is in good hands with these quarterbacks. We are in good hands, ladies and gentlemen, and just relax and just ride the wave and enjoy. Enjoy the show because it's good entertainment and the league is healthy, you know what I mean, with, with, their, with their star power. So... And, and the quarterbacks are in these great markets where, especially like Washington, where they, we've been starving for just some type of competency, just to be competent, you know what I mean? Not, not, let alone being in first place. And we'll take it, and we're going to enjoy it. And it's like, yeah, you know, the, we you know, you might be waiting for the other shoe to drop. But you, you know, meanwhile, we're going to keep stacking victories, and you can keep waiting. We keep stacking victories. We've got a tough game this week. I'm on to Charm City already. I'm on to Baltimore. So... We got a beast. We got a face. We got uh, Baltimore is a beast, man. They they got the, the tight ends. Mark Andrews is kind of like like I said, an afterthought, but he's Mark Andrews. Let's not get it twisted. And so he'll be there. You, you, you sleep on him, and they'll take advantage of you with him alone. Uh, Likely is a beast. Uh, Bateman is showing out. Say Flowers, you know what he is. You know what Mar- Lamar is. You know what King Henry is. You know what that offensive line is. You know how their defense is. The defense is not as formidable as as their defense in the past, but they are a good defense. They are a good defense, and they make plays. So, and it's in a tough environment in Baltimore. It's going to be a, you know, albeit a short distance, it's still a tough environment. And we've been in tough environments, and I like our chances. We've been in tough environments, so we, we should be able to uh, come up the road a little bit and, uh, do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a business trip. But it's going to be a tough game, no doubt. No doubt. Baltimore would definitely be the favorite, I would think. Got to be. So, but it'll be a tough game. I'm just saying, it's a barometer game. Um, nothing to just, you know, if you if, if it doesn't go your way or whatever, you just want to go, to, you, you want to win the game, especially on the road. You want to go up there and get the win. You know, it's already tough. You just want to go up there, stay in the game. As long as you be around in the fourth quarter, or so be able to score here, there, or whatever, keep it close, and ultimately win the game. I'll take that. At this point, I don't care about pretty wins and nothing like that. You know what I mean? Because I know this game gonna be mucked up, uh, or it could be high scoring. I don't know because it, it is what it is. But uh, I expect the weather to be great, and uh, I expect it to be a nice little trip out to Baltimore. You know what I mean? I myself is going to eat some uh, crab cakes and drink uh, maybe a bottle of Chardonnay. 
<laughs> if we get the victory, of course. <laughs> but that might be my pregame meal. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens, man. Anyway, man, Commander fans, enjoy it, man. And, 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 and just relax with all the other stuff. And just enjoy this, this ride, man. Because it is rare. And it's fun. And I love it. Anyway, peace. One.